Hello there. I received a couple of uh, mail calls today. One from Vanulaso, Monica Gillum. Uh, I received several samples of uh, Soap of the Gods soap. So look for a new series on Vanulay soaps coming soon to my channel. Uh, also, the other one I got was from James Presley. A fuzzy face soaps and he sent me a couple of pucks of lavender and orange peel and I look forward to both of these the orange peel is particularly as much as the lavender uh, and he also sent some samples ancient Sidonia which is a unique very unique kind of scent. It's going to be hard for me to describe, but it, sound, it smells wonderful. And Sensuous Sandalwood. Now I want you to look at the si size of these samples. Now this is a glycerin soap. It's a glycerin based soap. It's a, it's a hard soap, which I like. Uh, and then Shaving a Haircut, which is what we're going to be using today. It's a, This is a very, I've got it the sample here in my bowl. It's a very cool take on the barbershop scent. I can smell things like, I don't know what's in it as far as uh, fragrance oils and stuff like that, but this brings back to me things like hair tonic, hair clipper oil, uh, uh, the old uh, Cheap barbershop aftershaves like I like to use. <laughs> just all kinds of stuff that just, it smells like a shave and a haircut. It's what it smells like. It's a wonderful smelling soap. We're going to see uh, how it does. This is my Samoke 1438. That's the brush that we will be using. Now this is a sample. And with samples... A lot of the times, I have a really hard time keeping the sample still in a bowl. It's just, that's the deal a lot of times with samples. So I might struggle a bit with this sample to get it where I want. But I can already tell you, just from trying to sample, trying to load this sample it's a little bit bubbly but that's just you need to whip that until it goes away but it's got a wonderful sheen to the lather already uh, I tell you that when I tried to uh, when I press this puck down in or this sample down into the uh, shaving the lather bowl here My hands are really slick from it. It's leaving behind a really nice residual slickness, which is something that I like. Just, I think it's going to be lovely. Now the barbershop scent, once you begin to lather it, it begins to lighten a bit. That's all right. It's still plenty there, and that happens from time to time with different soaps. That's just the way that it is. And to me, this soap produced, looks like it's producing a really nice lather, but I think for me, uh, I think it would benefit from a bit extra work with a brush and that's not a knock on the soap that's just the way some soaps are I don't have a problem doing it uh, people complain all the time about oh I don't want to lather soap too much it wears my arm out well if you're pushing down 
on the lather bowl in the lather bowl so much and your hands are locking up and your alarm is locking up so much that you have problems see now that's turning wonderful uh lathering soaps more than about 15 seconds then uh man you need to seriously lighten up your touch okay and you seriously need to realize you don't need to crush your brush to death and uh, crush the bowl to pieces and uh, latch onto the handle of a uh, shaving brush like you're hanging from a, the branch of a cliff, a thousand foot cliff, you know. Uh, lighten up, dude. That right there. Oh, uh, the scent. It's great on the face. Just perfect almost as far as uh, strength goes. Ah, uh, that's lovely. There's even a hint, believe it or not, of, of a more modern type of uh, stuff like cool water and stuff. The more modern type after shaves and all the toilets and stuff there's even almost a hint of that type of scent going on here uh i'm using my christopher johnson near wedge with whoop maple scales and so uh and i've got A couple of days of growth, which I thought was uh, good for my wedge here. Figured that it would make short work of it. And it is nice slickness. The lather feels fairly soft on the face. That's something that that I like. I don't mind heavier feel to the lather, but I like a bit of softness to the lather on my face. And uh, the thing is, the reason that I wanted to try these soaps First of all, I have several friends that love this, this soap. But second of all, I think this soap is like in the range of seven, five to seven bucks a puck. That goes ding, ding, ding on my frugal button, you know. And so, Anytime that I hear a soap, in that kind of price range, I want to try it out because that's at the heart for me of starting wet shaving. Uh, I don't have a large budget, and so I can't always afford a fifteen or twenty dollar soap. I know that most of you guys. I'm thinking, probably thinking, well, that's cheap for so. Well, I'm not arguing that fact. If you're an artisan and you know you're making soap, and you the process you use to make soap means that you're going to have to charge a higher price. That I understand that, but I'm just saying for me, you know, sometimes I can't afford fifteen dollars for a shave soap, and if I find a 
they sell between five and ten bucks. Okay, it gives it really good performance. Well, then that's you know I want to I want to try those out and part of the uh, reason that I got into wet shaving now that I'm gonna tell you the lather is wonderful. It's got a good slickness. Uh, but the scent, this shaving a haircut is lovely. I love this scent. But anyway, uh, if I can find soaps that are frugal, you know, they don't cost a whole lot, then I'm going to definitely want to try them because one of the big things... For me, one of the reasons that I have the shave channel, this video channel on YouTube, and I've got a hundred and some odd videos on wet shaving posted here. Is because I want new people to find traditional wet shaving and experience the pleasure of getting a really good, a proper shave instead of, you know, a can foam and a plastic and uh, chunky kind of cart razor, you know, or a, heaven forbid, an electric razor. And when I was shaving with carts, the, the pretty much the cheapest thing On my list was a can of Barbasol foam cost a dollar. You know, so I understand, you know, when I first started wet shaving, five dollars was a lot of money for soap for me because I was used to paying a dollar. And I, I want uh, the new fellas, and I'm trying to do the wrong pass, but anyway, to have alternatives. When they first start wet shaving, that are economical and won't run them off. You know, that's. And so, my go to used to be Sterling, five to seven bucks. Well, Sterling's up in about the twelve dollar range now, but to be fair, from what I've seen, they've really stepped up their game, packaging wise and everything else. And they've gone to a softer soap, which I like a hard puck a lot of times, but soft soap is fine. Uh, Cropy kind of stuff is fine, but but they've gone to more of a crope, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken. You might even get a little bit more for that $12 as far as the actual soap goes. But, I mean, so now I'm looking for somebody I can recommend in that 5 to $7 puck range to new wet shapes. And it looks like this is a good contender for that. The, like I said the scent is wonderful. It's shaving a haircut. That's like I said. That's exactly what it smells like. Is a shaving a haircut. It smells just like a barber shop to me. Uh, wonderful scent. Nice thick lather. 
good slickness. Every time I shave with this razor, I love it even more. Lovely. I mean, that lathered, I got a, uh, a PM from a friend of mine, and he said the, the soap is great, but sometimes when you first lather it, it's not that simple to do well. It lathered pretty easy for me. Now, yes, I worked it more. And probably most people could but you have to understand that and I'm not holding myself up as a great latherer or anything like that although I I do spend a lot of time at the sink just lathering soaps without shaving I I think it's important to understand soaps and technique and part of technique is lathering it's not just a, putting a razor to your face but lathering is, is a technique unto itself that it would do everybody good to learn how to do properly. And anyway, there are certain, where's my towel? There are certain things that I look for in a lather that, that tells me that I am done lathering that So. And so I don't pay attention to, I don't, it's the same thing when I load a brush. I'm looking for certain things. I'm looking for a sheen on the lather. I'm looking for tiny, tiny bubbles instead of big bubbles. I'm looking for all kinds of stuff. I'm actually looking for that proto lather to thicken. I'm looking for all of that. Uh, and it's there's a feel to it too with the brush and the lather that I can't really explain here. But I'm looking for certain things. It's the same thing when I lather the soap in a bowl. So, you know, I'm not, I've seen videos where they test soaps and they say, well, I'm going to do a 30 second lather on this and a 30 second, I'm going to do 30 seconds on this puff and this soap over here that's completely different and uh, has completely different characteristics. Well, I'm going to do a 30 second soap on this soap. And guess what? I think this soap lathers better than that soap. Well, sure it does for 30 seconds. Because different soaps lather different ways. And that's something people need to understand. Now, you could argue, well, if the soap don't lather in so many seconds, I don't want to fool with it. That's your prerogative. But you're missing out on a lot of good soaps if you take that kind of attitude. You need to find out what it is the soap likes and give it to it. And you'll get the best out of that soap. That's kind of my philosophy anyway. I'm going to... Finish off with Pinard Clubbin. So I looked at this soap. I looked at the Proto Lather. The Proto Lather looked good. I thought, well, wow, that's got a wonderful sheen to it. And so I think, and now the Pinard Clubbin goes really well with uh, shaving a haircut, by the way. But anyway, uh, I took it to the bowl and I looked at it. And I beat the lather until it came pretty stiff.
See how stiff that peaks out there? That's what I was looking for in this lather. Now there are other lathers. Look at this. A boatload of lather left over. I got two, three passes left over. Okay, but there are other soaps that might have more of a yogurty kind of quality. And I'm not looking for it to form stiff peaks like that. I'm looking for it to form peaks that will kind of fall over. But it's just differences in that lather. And, and having lathered enough of them, I can look at that soap and kind of tell what kind of lather, once I begin to build lather in the brush, what kind of lather you know to expect out of that soap. And I know to work that soap until I reach that consistency that I want. So this is wonderful. It's a, it's a nice, soft, uh, fluffy kind of lather. Uh, it's got good slickness and glide. Uh, it's easy to get. Uh, it's profuse, proliferate. Or, um, it's, I'm trying to think of the word. But there's a lot of it, you know, for the puck, for what you do on the puck, how much time you spend, and stuff like that. So I would recommend that you check out Fuzzy Face Soaps. If you're on, if you're frugal, you don't have a lot of money, they're out of uh, Washington, Missouri, I believe. Uh, and you're looking for a, a soap that will give you a good shave, this is a good buy at five to seven bucks a puck. Really hard to beat. And I'm trying to clean out my brush. All right. God bless you. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you later. Huh.